What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can watch YouTube videos on your car's display. So as you guys may or may not know, jailbreaking has been popping off lately thanks to the most recent release of the uncovered jailbreak for iOS 13.5. It covered a myriad of devices that haven't had a jailbreak in quite some time and was a significant deal. So I've never really jailbroken a phone before, but I thought, what the heck, let's go ahead and give it a try. It's a semi-tethered jailbreak, so I thought, no big deal. If I don't like it, I'll just get rid of it. And it is really that simple to set up. So if you've never jailbroken a phone before, don't worry about it. I had neither. It's not that big a deal. Even if you're not that tech savvy, it's really a piece of cake. So if you want to know how to jailbreak your phone, here is how to do it as fast as possible. So you'll need a Mac or a PC to start off with. It works on both. I did it on PC, so it's no big deal. If you're on Mac, you're going to want to go to the link in the description and download the Alt Store app. And then you're going to want to sign in with your Apple ID. Now you can use your traditional Apple ID. It's fine. It's safe. Don't worry about it. But if you, you're more comfortable creating a dummy Apple ID, you can do that as well. So once you've got that logged in, go ahead and type it in. And all that basically does is allow the app to be signed onto your device. This is basically a way that developers can test their apps on their own devices. So it's perfectly safe. People do it all the time. So go ahead and plug your phone into the computer, open up iTunes, check enable Wi-Fi sync, go to the top bar on the screen, click on the little alt store icon, go to install and then select your device and the alt store app should then be on your iOS device. Now, if you're on PC, you need to download the most recent version of iTunes and the most recent version of iCloud from the links in the description, not from the Microsoft Store. And then you want to download the Alt Store app the same way. So once you get the iTunes and the iCloud downloaded and logged in with your Apple ID, then go ahead and log in with your Apple ID on the Alt Store app, plug your phone in again, enable Wi-Fi sync in iTunes, then right click at the bottom right hand corner on the Alt Store icon, go to install, select your device, and you should be good to go. Now that you've got the Alt Store app downloaded, you want to download the Uncovered Jailbreak, and I'll have the link in the description again. Once you get that downloaded, go ahead and run that on your device, and it will download that. Now, you are going to have to sign these since these are both third-party apps, so occasionally you can either leave your PC or Mac running that you downloaded Alt Store on, and it will auto try to auto-resign. What I did, so I don't have to use a computer, is I downloaded the Reprovisions tweak, so I'll have that link in the description as well, and that basically allows me to go in and manually resign the apps before the seven-day window is up. So once you've got all that taken care of and you've got Uncovered downloaded, go ahead and try to run the jailbreak. Now, it only took me one time to get it to work, but I know other people have had struggles in the past, so just keep trying until it eventually does work. Once it's done, you should see the Cydia Packet Manager on there now. Basically what that does, it allows you to add different sources called repos to the Cydia app to where then you can download tweaks from those different repos. And a repo is just basically a collection of tweaks or modifiers uh, from a specific type of developer. Now I'm not gonna go through all the tweaks I have on my device. We're just gonna be specifically looking at CarBridge today, but I do have a video coming out very soon on my favorite tweaks for iOS 13. So definitely hit subscribe and turn your bell notifications on so you don't miss that. Now the tweak we're looking at specifically is called CarBridge Lite and it's found in the PackX repo. So how you wanna do that is you wanna go to sources inside of Cydia, go up to the top right hand corner, hit edit, then hit add in the left hand corner, type in repo.packix, P-A-C-K-I-X.com. Go ahead and add it. It will go ahead and download that repo to your device. Then you can go inside of that, search for CarBridge Lite. Go ahead and install that. Now I'll put out a warning here. It is a Lite version and it is paid. So it's not as feature rich as maybe the iOS 10 through 12 version was but it does work surprisingly well for being a light version. Also, it is paid, like I said, it's $4.99. It's well worth it, in my opinion. It's not much more than a single cup of coffee. It'll, you know, it's a lifetime license. You don't have to pay again every month or anything like that. And I always want to support the developers that provide this kind of functionality for us. It's awesome. So go ahead and get that version. It's not that expensive. But once you have it installed on your device and you've restarted your springboard, you should be able to plug your phone into your car and see under your CarPlay settings, the Portal app. Now, if you go ahead and click on the Portal app, basically what it works as is a screen mirroring application. Now it uses your phone's uh, screen recording functionality to do this. So apps like YouTube TV, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, HBO Go, TLC Go, any of those different types of apps that have DRM protection on them are not gonna work. You're just gonna see a black screen. But the YouTube app works really, really well. Let's take a look at that. Pull up Apple CarPlay, wipe over to Portal, click that, and boom, there is the mirror. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up one of my YouTube videos just so I don't get copyright strike. So what you wanna do is when you first plug it in, it's gonna be in portrait mode. 
because if you're holding your phone upright. So any apps that support landscape mode, it's gonna work great in for video. So you can actually turn your phone landscape and then you can actually zoom in on the YouTube app so you get the more full screen look to it and you can just watch your videos right there. They play back really smoothly. The uh, frame rate is great. You can go in the settings and turn on a limiter so it'll limit to 30 frames a second if you want to because it saves on CPU uh, load and things like that, but I don't really mind. I'm just watching videos occasionally. So it plays back nice resolution, basically whatever you've got your YouTube set to, and obviously it's limited by the resolution of the actual screen in your car and frame rate as well, but it looks great on mine here in the 2019 Subaru Crosstrek. Now I've tried it on a couple other vehicles uh, that have bigger screens. My Subaru has a six or 6.5 inch screen, but check it out here on an eight inch screen in a Volkswagen. And best of all, check out the view on this 10.25 inch infotainment screen on the 2020 Hyundai Sonata. It just looks incredible. And I can only imagine if you were to play a game like Fortnite on this screen and have a Bluetooth controller attached, you would have a really fun time. So incredible. It's almost the size of an iPad at that point, And it looks incredible on that screen. Other things you can do with this, um, you can like show people videos on your phone, like anything that you can play back smoothly off your phone looks great. You can play games as well. Look at TikToks, things like that the ways I spend my time, but it is actually really great for playing games. So I've got a game on here called Alto's Odyssey. It's a really chill, relaxing game. So sometimes I'll just sit back. I don't even have to look at my phone because it's just a tap kind of game. And I will open it up on the portal, go ahead and hit start, kind of just lean back in my chair, turn the music up, super peaceful and relaxing music, and just play the game. So stuff like that could be really fun. Now, let's say you were in that 2020 Hyundai Sonata and you had a Bluetooth enabled controller. You could plug your phone in with a game like Call of Duty Mobile or Fortnite or another first person shooter like that. Connect your phone, set it aside, turn the volume up, sit back with your Bluetooth connected controller and play your game right on the screen while relaxing in your car with the AC on and everything. Talk about a relaxing experience on your lunch break. Super, super cool all using just this single jailbreak tweak called CarBridge. Now, if you guys wanna see more videos on the 2020 Hyundai Sonata, check the link up in the top right-hand corner. I make videos on all these types of vehicles over on the Auto Group channel that I work for. I've got videos on all different types of Hyundais, Subarus, Volkswagens, Chevys, all kinds of good stuff. Hop over there, check it out if you're interested at all. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Drop a like on the video if you loved it. Tell me in the comments down below, have you tried CarBridge? Have you found a cool application for it that I didn't talk about? or another tweak that you really love, let's have a conversation about it down in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be among the first to see every single new video the second I put them out. We'll see you in the next one.